Have you ever found yourself in a panic mode when something suddenly came upon you? There is nothing delightful in being in fear. The enemy doesn't give up or give in easily. The word says he will come back in a stronger way. And as you have noticed, he does. It seems as if the enemy feeds off of us, being in fear mode. He truly delights in interrupting our minds, challenge and change our thoughts, intent, and our will. Under pressure, your mind, will, and emotions can certainly run the risk of reacting in an opposing manner to being calm, confident, and peaceful. All reasoning seems to take a flight for a moment in time. The enemy has used this tactic on man since the beginning of time, as we have mentioned in our lessons before. Never forget Satan is a mastermind and a true deceiver of man. He stays the course if you give him any type of place in your mind, thoughts, heart, yes, your mouth. This is a time to gather in our wandering minds. Haggai chapter 2 verse 5 According to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remained among you. Fear ye not, saith the Lord. No fear here, amen. Resist him. Take authority over your thoughts and don't give him place to operate. You should always guard and watch what penetrates your mind. Put your defenses up. Renew your mind with God's word, the scriptures. If you got to react and verbally say something, speak out loud so you, God, and the devil hears. 2 Timothy 1 and 7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God has given us power. What is that? If you belong to God, then he lives in you as we've taught before, right? You have access to his power living in you to protect and keep you from being taken. Love, why is it always important? It is the entrance, gateway, passage to God. Satan cannot be righteous and only operates in hate for God and all of mankind. If you have God's love and use it, you have one of the greatest things that conquers and sets everything right. A sound mind. Your mind is on track, perfect peace. Nothing disturbs you in what you believe about God and what he can and will do in your behalf is not shaken, but settled. From our previous talk, Let's go back to Judges chapter 7. We must not be fearful as God has commanded and follow God's plan to defeat the enemy of our souls, ultimately the devil. The word says Gideon called on the name of the Lord and received instructions and obeyed the voice of the Lord. The children of Israel's deliverance was in their act of obedience. Those who were self-reliant, fearful, afraid, and not alert enough were sent back home to their own place. The Israel army ended up being reduced to 300 persons. That was God's plan in victory. Yes, was won. God can work with any number of people, large or small, to get the job done. Satan is no match for God when he tries to come add us tooth and nail. God will fight for us no matter the cost. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he changes not. God stood for us on Calvary and won the ultimate battle with Satan when he arose again with all power in his hand. Hallelujah. Begin to thank God for what he has personally done for you and your family. I personally must thank God for who he is. He is faithful and true. What he says he will do. 
I'm convinced of that. I've recently have had to face some reoccurring sensitive issues in my life. When you let God lead you by the hand, not to take matters into your own hands, God comes through. He kept me in intact and I came out victorious. I refused to fear and kept positive with the help of His Holy Spirit. I've been going through the storms and coming out more than a conqueror every time. The joy of the Lord is truly strengthening. Have a mindset to not impin any danger and that nothing, I mean nothing, is too hard for God and you two handle together. This spiritual fire is snuffed out quickly into smoke. My spiritual clothes did not even smell like smoke, just like the three Hebrew boys. Reflection of Galatians 5 and 22, it is vital to allow the fruits of the Spirit to dominate and operate in our life. Your Christian walk will definitely be enhanced and insulated from the tricks of the enemy. Love is the greatest of these. Amen. Next time we will look at Psalms chapter 119. Okay, this ends our talk for today and our healthy tip, as I know you've been waiting for, let's continue to pray for the peace of Jerusalem the innocent people of Israel and Palestine, and that all who are captive be safely released in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy 31 and 6, Be strong and of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, He it is that doth go with us. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, our Father is ever present. This is Lucretia Jordan, once again bringing encouragement to you. We are careful to thank Robin and Matthew Anderson with prayer and share, an invitation to intercede in prayer for our nation on Meta, and Gen New Generation Christian Family Matters podcast for making our presentation possible to you today. God bless you as our prayer.